Uh, I mentioned with regarding the uh, story of Nuh alayhi salam uh, brings us to another aspect of I'ajaz al-Qur'an, the miraculous aspect of the Qur'an. This one verse, aside from the linguistical miracle, the verse states regarding the Ark of Nuh alayhi salam, وَاسْتَوَتْ عَلَى الْجُودِي That this Ark of Nuh alayhi salam, it Wastawat, it landed where? On the mount known as Al Judi. That's all the Quran states. One word, Al Judi. For hundreds of years, people attempted to discover the ark or the remnants of the ark of Nuh Salam. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, we find a reference that the ark of Nuh Salam stopped at a mountains known as Ararat, the Ararat Mountains which are in Turkey, the areas of Turkey which are populated by Kurdish people. So Christians were unable to find the exact location of the Ark. They knew that there is a set of mountains which the Bible mentions. A Turkish pilot was flying in the 1960s for map making for the government and he found an impression on the side of a mountain. The impression and he, of course, took photos of the impression, and the impression seemed like a boat. So then archaeologists descended to the location, and they found the remnants of a boat. Remnants in what sense? The imprint of a boat on the ground, and the remnants of iron, meaning iron which is used for the nails, and an exact diagram was drawn of the boat, meaning what type of, boat was it, what size, and even anchors of the boat were found. What mountain was this? The locals, Kurdish people, told them that this mountain is known as Al-Judi. And that location is still uh, open to the public today in Turkey, that people can go and visit the remnants of what is the Ark of Nuh salam, which has uh, remnants of the, the nails, and people can go and look I mean the iron. But the Quran states, Look at the preciseness. That we carried him in Surah Al Qamar. We carried him, meaning Nuh alayhi salam, and a boat made from alwah, wood, and dusur. Dusur is iron, met, iron nails. And the discovery showed that this boat was made from wood and iron nails. So they found with using archaeological method- methodology, they found the remnants of um, iron and they drew the exact diagram. Likewise, they found the anchors of the boat, ancient style anchors made from rock. But the Quran simply states, Bismillahi ala majareha wa mursaha. That the, the Quran states, Bismillahi, uh, in the name of Allah, meaning he said when the boat uh, was on the sea uh, in the water, majareha, on its flowing. So note uh, the word maj- majare is written as majra. In one qira it is majra, but in qira to hafs it is recited as majare to give the feeling that the boat is moving majareha. But when it states wa mursaha, it was still the the qira is not mursaha, it's mursaha, meaning firm, meaning. Even the qiraat have a subtle uh, indication towards what is meant in the Qur'an. But mursa is from arsa, referring to the anchors, the deep anchors that were placed. So when Nuh was wastawat al al-judi, he stopped on al-judi. Note the word istawa is to rise. That, uh, and it also means when something lands. So, or seats itself. So when it seats itself, istawa, الجودي, the boat was on the side of the Judi mountain. And if you look at the pictures of the remnants of the boat, it is a, a graphical description found in Al-Quran al karim This is just found in that one verse. Likewise, the Quran throughout describes the Ark of Nuh as ayah, a sign. We will notice that the, the word ayah is used sometimes for those things which are visible. One of those things which is visible today is that people can go and see the body of Fir'aun, which I will mention later.